Well, Councilman says he believes he knows who those elected officials are referred to in that federal document made public this week. And Councilman Stokes not afraid to name names. I'm very disappointed that you could have elected officials in the city of Jackson who would say uh, uh, their influence, their vote. Councilman Kenneth Stokes believes he knows the two elected city officials identified in the latest federal documents in the bribery investigation as only unindicted co-conspirator B and unindicted co-conspirator C. The word we've heard over the months is Councilman uh, Banks as the council person and the mayor as the uh, person who uh, tried to get city employees to do some things. According to the document made public Thursday, unindicted co-conspirator B received $10,000 in cash plus a job for a family member. The other person allegedly received a $10,000 check for their re-election campaign. In both cases, investigators say the individuals promised votes and favorable support to two undercover FBI agents posing as real estate developers who wanted to build a new hotel at the Jackson Convention Complex. Don't go for the okie doke as they say in my neighborhood. And I think some of them start thinking they are above the law. According to the criminal information, Sharik Marve Smith received $20,000 from the federal agents, which went to the two city of Jackson officials. Smith pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit bribery. That's a similar charge to former councilwoman Angelique Lee, who was forced to resign two months ago after she was implicated in the investigation. Stokes says authorities should go after anyone involved in the bogus hotel project deal. Anybody whose hands are dirty need to be held responsible. A spokesman for Mayor Shokwe Anchal Mumba told us we are unaware of any additional details surrounding this case aside from those that are already been made public. It would be inappropriate for us to comment. And we did reach out to Banks for a response to Councilman Stokes' comments. We haven't yet heard back from that city councilman. For now, we're live at City Hall. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.